Hello, Air Tribe. Welcome to your weekly oracle messages. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. Until the end of the month, I'll still be offering the love special called Cupid's Message, which is a reading focused on themes of love and relationships available at the sales price till the end of February. And if you would like to have that chance and know more details about it, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So, air signs. I do feel like in common, there's this thing of some of you wanting to leave the dull, ordinary type of mundane kind of everyday life. I feel like some of you are either fed up or bored or have become, you know, um, have become, you know, too comfortable in a situation that is not giving room for your um, original spark for passion, for creativity, for newness to come in. So either you need to seek different outlets to invite into your life and to add elements as well into your life that um, provide that special something that you're looking for. Or some of you also need to break free from uh, a feeling of conformity with the things that do not suit you, that do not appeal, that are not, um, you know, what you want. Basically, I feel like some of you uh, air signs have in common this, this bright, you know, it's like there's this bright light being shed upon the things in your life that do not please you. And the nature of pleasure, enjoyment, fun seems to be something the majority of you are focused into and so if you're not feeling stimulated if you're not feeling that novelty that you're looking for you might even grow to become uh, here a little bit bitter or attract circumstances where your relationships are suffering with your um it's like your relationships might be suffering with your own uh, tendency to just complain or, um, you know, not like but not do much about it. There's also, for some of you air signs, that notion of you do not like how things are, but some of you are too passive about it. You're not doing enough. Um, you're not taking action. You're not taking measures to change the things that are not of your suiting. Some of you, it's like this lazy apathetic feeling like um something it could be lethargy it could be that you're just hang um there's this feeling of being in a constant hangover like and when we are in that state of hangover and we say we promise that we're never gonna go and drink again because of all the dullness and the feeling that we have in the next day right but then we do it again and we do it again and we do it again because it's a way to it's an easy way to find stimulus. It's an easy way to find that temporary spark, right? Where everything feels heightened and everything feels amazing and marvelous and we can take on the world. And so, of course, that not for all of you, this would be about alcohol or it would be about any type of substances like that. But it's like you're waiting, either you are, um, either you are doing, you are delaying, let's say, the action measures that you need to take to change things around for the better. You need to uh, call in here the spirit of courage, the spirit of creativity, the spirit of, you know, ability to push through whatever it is about you and your mind that does not, it's like, um, does not allow you to move. Some of the view is really the sense of not being able to move. Um, others of you, there's also this thing about, you know, getting a little bit lost, yes, in the things that seem so unattainable. I feel like some of you don't believe in yourselves enough or in your power of change enough. It's like you're waiting for someone to either give you a reason to change um, or for someone to push you out of your comfort zones and so you don't have other way but to do it or for something to happen to push you. It's like you're always waiting for that other element to give you the kick right? So you awaken and you are forced to do things. And because perhaps you're not finding that, right? 
There's also some of you that are provoking it unconsciously. You might be doing things to purposely upset others or situations because you're acting upon them in ways that are not the most, uh, let's say, peaceful ones or positive ones or, you know, or um, it's like a sense of being absent uh, from your relationships, from your own endeavors, your tasks, your job, your duties. Um, it's like not wanting to fulfill the role you have been fulfilling so far. And but perhaps some of you are doing this unconsciously in ways where you're, you're doing that to, in a way, provoke a reaction from the other person or the other circumstance to give you a reason to change. It's like waiting, doing on purpose a lot of mistakes, for example, in your work, so that those mistakes are noticed and you are forced and your, your superiors or your boss are um, seeing those um, and forced to fire you or to, um, you know, call your attention to it and then you give yourself a reason to just leave or go away or whatever to tell your boss what you really think about it or you know being in a long uh, overstay in terms of a relationship that you don't want to be anymore but not being capable to leave the relationship um, because of whatever reasons you tell yourself you can't and so uh, upsetting your partner or the person you are it uh, in little ways to undermine, you know, their trust in you, their love, etc., etc. So, of course, that depending on your specific situation, this will defer. But the thing is, is you need to um, be your own coach and motivator, and you know, your own best friend during this time. If you want for thing, if you really want things to change, as some of you deeply want. You have to find the power within you to actualize this change because even if it's an outer situation and you line up with this change, the fact that it's not coming from within you will then perhaps also translate in the fact that it's going to be a temporary change because the core issue with you um, and that keeps you and prevents, prevents you from living the colorful, bright, intense, special life that some of you want to have um is 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 not found the reason to it is not found on the outer reality is inside of you and for gemini's um there's a deep profound change of consciousness it's like you are starting to see the truth really the truth of what has been hidden so far from your conscious understanding when it comes to your reality and the reality of the changes right, the transformation you have been undergoing, it has been a slow, silent, and for some of you, painful transformation, but you're finally seeing the purpose of it, what's coming out of it, the beauty of it, the truth of it is now being revealed to you as this week uh, progresses. Of course, that for some of you will not be immediately this week, but at least this week would there would be a spark of some sorts that would ignite that clarity, that vision, that third eye kind of you know, being brightly open and struck by a realization that changes things for the better because this is the innocence card. So it would make you see joy. It would make you see wisdom. It would make you see happiness where there has been pain, where there has been struggle, where there has been shedding, right? This is a very spiritual, um, let's say, lineup of cards. So some of you, this is about the spiritual transformation you have been undergoing, you have been um, in a way processing and starting to be more empowered and feeling the empowerment that comes after the destructive phase. And I also feel like some of you Gemini's, you know, whatever you are seeing, whatever is the truth, whatever is being revealed, whatever, you know, don't allow it um, don't allow yourself to second guess your powers because I feel like there's something here about some of you becoming wise, you know, spiritual beings gifted with knowledge, with wisdom, you know. And it's like you are able to see as well what's it's because your third eye is so stimulated that you're able to see, you know, what's going on with others, what's going on, you know around you and perhaps you are led to advise someone or say something to someone and you're containing that information it's like you're you're holding it because 
you feel like it's not your place or you don't want to scare someone or you don't want to influence someone with your knowledge of what you are perceiving. But if there are moments where you are struck by realizations when it comes as well to what's around you and who's around you, I feel like that's a way of your higher self telling you um, that you are too ahead as well, guide and mentor others. It's like a consequence, a natural effect of uh, how much you have grown in the last months and years. And now it's like you're taking all of that wisdom and knowledge and you're healing and helping others throughout as well the experience of what you have had so far. For Libras, um, all of it that I said in the beginning feels that is about love. It's about the intensity of an experience of love. Either some of you want to free or you, it's like you have been, your feelings and your emotions are intense. This is the intensity card. Um, and But they have been contained. You have been containing or something has been kind of containing and holding your emotions and almost like your violent emotions. When I say violent is the powerful charge that they have. It's like they can move mountains, they can move situations, they can make things happen and they can as well, of course, destroy them. And perhaps that's why you have been trying to control or suppress something that you can't control because you're adding here heart, right? Feeling, love, emotions, with instinct and primal force. So it's like your feelings and your love life and your spiritual path as well is igniting here, propelling you to move forward, to break free from a circumstance, a situation, you know, a way of handling and dealing with a loved one or with love in general that has not been um really you know is that it has not really been uh, you know showing or giving to the other right you're not ha you have not been allowing the other to receive the truth here of how you feel particularly if this is to deal with another if this is just about you there's a sense of an emotional blow up kind of it's like a volcano of emotions erupting here and pushing you to the path of love and it's like a new destination is going to come here for your love life and also for your spiritual path but you have to quit control you have to allow that force right to take in a way over you so you can be free because you have not been free to love you have not been free to feel that raw vibration that fire has been contained and when fire and water is contained is a very dangerous harmful you know there can be a very dangerous harmful consequence of it and it's like you, there's also this notion of you cannot take something anymore for some of you something that has been bothering you but perhaps you have been not saying anything about it or you have been trying to avoid the moment of you know, climax, the climax here is like unavoidable, I feel. And this week that moment might happen and you, um, you are kind of, um, I feel afraid of your own emotions or how much something, a circumstance, either for good or for bad, how much that is affecting you. It's like not being able to handle well and accept well the dimension here of your feelings and the power love have or a person has or you have it's like a mess um there's a mess here when it comes to feelings that is aggravated due to the fact that you're meant to release some of it not to hold it back because the more you hold it back is the more you're feeding right the beast the more you're feeding something inside of you that sooner or later will still come out and will even, you know, have uh, a more difficult reaction to your outer reality. So what you need to say, what you need to do, do it because the power you will receive in return is immense. Some of you, this is also about regaining power of feeling, regaining power in your love life, feeling like you are creating, you know, 
that you have more of a saying and you are creating the love you want. You are attracting to you the things you need and want when it comes to love and passion. For um, Aquarius, Aquarius, you feel kind of, I feel like for the air signs that I'm reading, you are the one that might be more bludged down here when it comes to your day-to-day -day life. You might be upset or just not happy tired even of how things are going your in your daily life and it's like maybe some of you want to change something around and you need to change something around when it comes to your routines when it comes to your own being how you dress the act the activities that you and places you go to the people you surround yourself with it's like um and this has been showing a lot. Uh, have been showing a lot, a lot for Aquarius. They need to have this powerful makeover inside and out. It's like to allow yourself to change, allow yourself to experiment, allow yourself to try things that you have not been trying or or seen yourself trying. It's like quit the judgments of the mind and just do something different. I feel like the more you try to do things different, um, the better you feel and the more balanced as well. It feels like your balance and your integration, which is your card, comes from letting this go, which is the c comparison to how things are for others and how they are for you. And feeling and seeing things on your side as being just, you know, this fatigue energy, this tired, this dullness, this uh, also this defensiveness that keeps you from integration which what i want to say about that is that some of you you keep comparing your life perhaps with the life of others that feel more integrated that feel more colorful more bright more happy more whatever you see there that triggers you but your response to it is not, uh, okay, I'm inspired by that and I will do or find my own path, right? Of love, of abundance, of creativity, whatever it is that you are comparing yourself with. It's not that one. The majority of you is you defensive. You get more, you know, uh, fixed in the ways you have created to avoid change to avoid taking that leap towards a more fulfilling satisfying delicious kind of life i feel like some of you need to um you know be more in contact with your body needs with the needs of your body and soul yes but i'm feeling like there's this lack of body connection uh, with the pleasure the nature of pleasure like what you eat how you how you it's like what you eat, the scents, right? What you smell, the effect that has on you, uh, what you see, the, vis uh, the, 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 the visual component being as well very potent here to help you, right? Brighten up and inspire you to do things um, in other forms. The, way, the touch element as well. Some of you do not allow yourselves to be you know taken per se in a good way to another way of life to another way of being to another concept of what life can be or could be to you it's like stuck in the in a rigid format that is created out of fear so it's like a defense mechanism you're waiting for war you're seeing the out siders that you're comparing something with as um, hostile and an attack something you don't want to be uh, you don't want to be as you don't want them to really know you you don't want to be influenced by them I actually feel like for some of you it's even like you're comparing yourself as being superior to someone or to something due to the fact that um, the differences that are are, are like displayed and this dynamic are so strong and trigger you. It trigger you because they represent something you have not yet mastered when it comes to seeing the differences as uh, compliments, as, as, as a natural manifestation of this polar reality, right? So 
I hope you have all a great week. Thank you so much uh, for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.